He told us this weekend that he started to think about the points, and you know, there's he's taking a little bit less risk than he would normally, uh, like he might have done earlier in the year, and he he likes to win. That's what he wants to do. He's he's been interviewed a number of times, and he, he's made it pretty clear that he likes to win races. He's, he doesn't like the points chases, but he realizes uh, to, to us, the team, and uh, the sponsors, to GEICO, that it's very important for a championship to be, to be won. So today's race, we were able to make a small change, and we had some fortune come our way with uh, both factory Yamahas uh, going out early. But I think we could have fought with them. The race times for the first two thirds of the race were almost a second and a half quicker than yesterday, so the pace was much, much hotter. You know, I would have expected Bobier or even Tommy to be right there, but they weren't. They weren't able to continue. So what happened was uh, the best of the rest. And it was it was a very very tough race. You know, Westby is coming on. He's on equal equipment, and Fong is is riding exceptionally well. Uh, the strategy was a uh, work in progress, and uh, I thought maybe to lap through the, to the end when I was in third, maybe settle for third. For him to settle for third in those circumstances, uh, I guess we could have pardoned him for it, but uh, it's Martin and he wants to win. That's why he's he's here and he's with us and that's who he is. And that's why he's the, the winningest Daytona sport bike rider you know, in the history of uh, the AMA. But uh, yeah, the bike is working awesome all weekend and uh, big thanks to them, to the Gaiku Suzuki team. If I can make the bike better, they'll go faster. And if they can go faster with less risk, uh, they can fight for a win. They can fight for a position. Geico, the, the M4 Suzuki team, recently acquired a, a suspension dyno. And from last year, we decided to uh, try and go a separate route, uh, do a lot of our suspension in-house. There's a couple of reasons for that. One, uh, the main one was just simply for, for the team to grow and to become more proficient in, in every aspect of uh, motorcycles. You know, we already do all the engines. and. We do most of the, almost every aspect of the bike, and we weren't doing the suspension. Last year, it was decided to, to bring a, a tech up to speed with working on the forks and shock. Along with that, a shock dyno to, to test and to, to verify the bills that are put on the motorcycles. It's, it's, a, it's become a pretty critical part of our program. It's kind of like an engine dyno, except that uh, in some ways it's more important. You, know, you, can, you always want to test what you, what you build. We haven't really been able to do that with our own equipment until this year. And we, we've learned some, some things, and uh, I think it's shown. This is his seventh win of the 2012 season for the Geico Suzuki team. Give it up for number 96, on Team Canada. Passes by, something's got to give. Can't be free, but it's good for me. But this good thing comes along, and I can't deny too long. I need you to save me. I need you to save me. Set me free. Geico, saving people money on more than just car insurance.